drive Northeast 23rd Avenue. Hold on, I can go now. These are the neighborhoods back in here that I really want you to see. These little, these little Venetian style islands. houses. one of these streets. This here's the Heron Waterway. This looks like Tony Montana's neighborhood, doesn't it? It's beautiful. Look at this monstrosity going in. Somebody's gonna have a nice new house. Wow. He's got a garage for his golf cart. I love it. So these all dead end because these are like little finger islands, guys. You could look at them on the map where I'm at. If you go to Google Maps and you look at US 1 and Sample Road, I'm just southeast of that. And you'll see these little finger isthmuses. They're not islands because they're attached. I think they call those isthmuses. This must be my lucky day. Remember that? When Stymie had to use Isthmus in a sentence? Little rascals. In for a closer look. I don't think I could afford the mailbox. <laughs> oh my God. Woo. Waterway. And I shut the battery down to preserve it and there go the legs. Oh. See all the water, guys? Did I lie? Some amazing homes here guys in Lighthouse Point so for those of you that uh, are interested in moving to Florida and just learning more about the area whether or not this is in the budget 
it's still nice to understand the dynamics of the neighborhoods. Incredible. It's, you know, the construction of that looks like it's been here for a hundred years. And it's not. These are newer homes. I don't mean that in any bad way, by the way, because they're absolutely beautiful. I just mean that they look so classic. You know, the style, they look classic and they just look, you know, so, so established and old worldly. Not old, old worldly. Look at that one. I'm thinking I need to turn around here. I'm thinking where I need to go is um, around this roundabout here. a theme here these barrel tile roofs Spanish style Mediterranean style here's here's one going up right here that Addison Meisner look a lot of that here and they got a uh, I noticed that they had one at the church too they probably just leave those to show a presence here Keep people nice and safe. Look at that. That looks like a hotel. It's a house. Hello. Hi. Hey, if I go this way, will it take me to that naughty dog and, and the, um, like the little inlet over there, the little by the intracoastal? Did I go the right way? No. I went the wrong way. I shouldn't yeah. have turned around a roundabout. Okay, so I got to go back and then stay on that same road? Yeah. What, do you remember the street I have to turn on? Is it 49th Street or something? Uh, Man, I'm trying to remember. So just go back out that way, yeah. make a left at that roundabout, and just head straight, and then, it, and then it's another left. It'll, it'll show you. You sure it's not down here? Definitely. That's a body of water. You looking for the restaurant that's back there? Yeah, the restaurant. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I mean. No, okay, okay. Oh, okay. I, didn't know I the thought name I of thought it. I was. Yeah, I know yeah. the address. I don't know. No, the name. that's okay. I get it. Um. So just take this. Yeah, if you go all the way down, you'll see. You yep. see where the those cars are? The silver cars. Yes, ma'am. Take a left. Yep. You'll see a roundabout. It's back in that. Corner. Okay, I thought so. It's been a while since I've been here, so. What is it, Naughty Dog? Yeah, it's called Naughty Dog. It's oh. right on the water, and they have like kind of Bahamian style, you know, Jamaican style. Okay. They have uh fish tacos and beers which i could uh, use one. i just got here from boca what? yeah i just rode here from boca on my, on my on bike yeah i got i got a youtube wow. channel uh okay. barefoot vlogger and um so i have 58 percent left to get back to boca i think i'll make it will you if no, i you don't should. i could always pedal you should yeah. oh yeah. yeah you'll make it or i could hang on the back of your truck <laughs> thank you sweetheart you're welcome take care now Enjoy. bye bye Okay, I, I was pretty sure it was that roundabout and then she confused me, but then uh, when I explained it to her, she, uh, she, she confirmed that this is the right way, so let's go, guys. We're almost there. it over there hold on guys yeah that's it I almost passed it you got these cool apartments here doesn't this feel like an island in the Caribbean over here I love this field it's lighthouse point so you got these apartments here then there'll be a, a dock I think that's where you pick up the boat to go to Cap's place I was telling you guys about Yeah, you see, there's the sign. There's the sign. So this is where they pick you up. Historic Caps Place Island Restaurant. Since the 1920s. See, guys? 
right here. This is where you get it. So you would come here, you park. They got parking right there. It's public parking. And I think it's free, by the way. I'll show you. But here's the sign for it. So you would park your car, just walk over here, and then the boat will pick you up and take you right to the restaurant on an island. It's really a cool thing to do. I ate there once a long time ago. Good thing to do again, you know? Gotta come here and do that one night. Water stays ice cold in this. Thanks, Svetlana. It's so beautiful down here, guys. It really is so beautiful. I can't even tell you. Uh oh. Am I in trouble? I'd be security, I don't know. Oh, he's a utility guy. You don't care. All right, guys. Let's go. Let's go to the Naughty Dog. I'm gonna see if I can do a live stream from there. It's been a while. I miss you guys. Let's go. So right here, you can park all along here. This is all public parking, you see? This is all public parking. Maybe I should have drove. It's all public parking, free, no meters. And it smells amazing. So here's the place I was telling you guys about. Naughty Dog. They got a place I could leave my bike. Yes, they do. Beautiful. Oops. All right, guys, it's a Thursday, so it's not going to exactly be hopping in here, but that's okay. We're going to sit down and we're going to eat and we're going to check this place out. I've been here before, but you know what? I didn't the opportunity to sit down. Hello, Hi. how are you? I'm good. I'm how the Barefoot you? Blogger. Do you mind? I'm going to do it like a live stream and stuff and show everybody my incredible, wonderful day here. No, <laughs> you're fine. Okay, cool. So, where should I sit? Uh, just one? Just me, yeah. I recommend outside. Isn't that lonely? Just one. Unless you would like to join me. <laughs> no. <laughs> He's laughing. Running away without your beer! I knew he wasn't talking to me. Um, yeah, I guess. Music. Hey, what's up, ladies? Um, which means I don't know if we can live stream if they got music here, but you know what? I won't live stream. I will just put it in the video. It's a shame. I would have loved to have live streamed here because this is a great location, beautiful spot. I'm starving. I'm definitely having a beer or two. So, unfortunately, unless I don't know and I need to look into it, um, you can't leave the battery on that bike because uh, even when you pull the key out, you can still start it up. So, it's in the bag right now. Smells so good here. Alright, let's look at the uh, let's look at the menu. Okay, so tell me uh, what you recommend here. Definitely the seafood. Okay. Seafood quesadilla is fantastic. Lobster roll is probably the best in town. Really? Yeah, it's, it's amazing. Um, the mahi is pretty good. The wahoo is excellent. How so, do you how do you cook those? Uh, uh, black and grilled. I mean, so it does, is it like on a sandwich? Whatever you want. We can do, we can do it on a platter. We can do it on. Sandwich. How is a wahoo black in a sandwich? Is that how does that compare to like a mahi? Better. Really? 
I think I think we have a winner. I mean, because you can get mahi anywhere. Well, it was exactly. Here, definitely. What's the local drink that you recommend well, beer wise? I want I mean, beer. beer. Oh, Gulf Stream IPA by by Gold. Okay. Ice nice cold. Thanks, brother. Always talk to the locals, and especially when you're at a restaurant, or a bar, or wherever you're gonna eat or drink. Um, ask the experts. They work there. They know. So we just put this down to me, I'm sorry. I wanted the camera to be on when he dropped it off, but oh well. You'll watch me drink it. That's good enough. Once again, if you're just tuning in, because this is probably going to be a long one, I took a bike ride from West Boca all the way through Deerfield to Lighthouse Point, and um, I made it here to this restaurant that not a lot of people that aren't local would know about. And you should know about it because uh, it's a cool spot. Great place, and right on the water here, this awesome little marina. That's the Intracoastal right there, so. Cheers. I would enough. Oh, that's so good. It's funny because they call themselves Naughty Dog, and they have a Naughty Dog hot dog, which would be tempting, but I'm hot dogged out after Virginia Key. Let's see, I don't want a burger. You guys have seen me eat too many of those. Uh, no thanks on the chicken, so I think that's what I'm gonna go with. Let's see if there's any appetizers I wanna try. We got Conqueror's. Ooh, truffle Parmesan fries. Well, I'm having fish, so I don't think I wanna do a fish dip. All right, guys, I think we're gonna go with that wobble. Uh, beer is good, it's refreshing. I'm really not much of an IPA guy, to be honest with you. Uh, but I'm gonna always go with the local beer with one that is recommended to me and it's very refreshing and good. Nice golden hue to it as well. I'm a sucker for Jimmy Buffett. So is YouTube and the copyright infringement policies. So unfortunately I, um, I'm gonna have to talk over it without too many ums and ahs, but then you're gonna also have to listen to my own track that uh, I'm putting over Jimmy Buffett. So you decided the Wahoo? Yes, sir. I'm gonna go with the Wahoo. Can I? Does that come with anything? Okay. Yeah, one side. One side? Um, I was thinking of those. Oh, one of these? Yep. Um, better these? Onion rings or fries? I love onion rings. They're good. Onion rings are awesome. Really awesome. Oh, I'm gonna go with onion rings. I had them for lunch. Can't beat those. Thank you, bro. All right, onion rings. Do you guys have live music here? Or is it only weekend? Uh, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Oh, I missed it by a day. Okay. The one day I come here, no live music. Too bad. Because if there was live music, I can live stream. You know what, guys? Let me get up here and just show you what I'm doing. Isn't this cool? Look at this lovely view. All these boats here on this marina. It's so peaceful here and lovely. And they have a lot of seating here. Too. I'm just gonna walk and show you guys. By the way, really cool bar. Let me show it to you real quick. Just want to show them the bar. Nice. That's gonna be reserved for me one of these days. Right. Cool spot. So you could sit down here too. They have probably I should have probably done that right on the dock, but they have these fans to keep people cool. And look at all the seating they have here, guys. Pretty, uh, pretty wide open. So, I mean, if you could come here with, you know, more than just a couple, you, you know, you meet a bunch of friends here. And trust me, on the weekends when they have the live music here, this is a really, really fun spot today. And you can't beat the scenery. And you can't beat the location. It's very convenient. It's 95 to Sample Road, and it's there in a minute. that we went and visited the dog shelter and we come to the naughty dog how crazy is that you guys naughty dog marina cafe i love it
So guys, we've done over 16 miles to get here. And uh, I still have more than 50% battery left, which is great. Which means if I do exactly what I did to get here, to go home, um, you know, basically a combination of pedaling. And, oh, here we go, look at that. Oh, that is beautiful. Um, I need ketchup only for the fries. I wouldn't do that to the Wahoo. That is lovely. <laughs> Tell me what we have here. Tell me. So we have our fresh cash Wahoo, which is blackened, um, our signature bun that we have our bakery make for us with our toasted onion rings. So that looks <laughs> absolutely amazing. Guys, look at that. So listen, I'm gonna tell you right now, when you move down here to the North Caribbean, you're gonna try a lot of fish, okay? Because it's fresh, it's delicious, and it looks just like that. Hopefully, God willing. And what you wanna do is, you never wanna put ketchup on that. That's sacrilege. Those, yes. I'll put a little bit of this, a little bit of this tartar sauce, because that looks pretty good too, actually. It's got some dill in there, it looks wonderful. To me, the best way to have, thank you, sir. What do you think of a fish like this when you order this meal, blackened? What's your opinion on it? Fantastic. I'd much rather blacken the grill than I need that slice. It's the only way to go. It's the only way to go. Absolutely. Brian knows the deal. Come on, I mean, it's just, these are the, he's an expert. He's a professional. This is who you have to talk to, but you know what? I'm a professional too, and I'm gonna tell you. That's why I posed that question to him. Blackened. Listen, it's a little spicy, it's a little hotter, you know, not a lot, not a lot, but it's more flavorful and it just locks those juices in. You'll see. Okay, by the way, he refreshed my beer, so I'm not really an IPA guy. You guys know that already. Oh, um, this is a It's made right here, it's brewed in full water, so cheers. I would enough. much more my speed. Sorry, all you IPA fanatics. I, I can appreciate them, but um, no. Feast your eyes on that, look. This is what you wanna see. Bun, fish. The fish should be hanging off the bun. But this does it by a long, long margin. This thing looks like it could take flight, okay? That's what you wanna see when you're eating. This is wobble, it's not mahi. This is actually better than mahi. Mahi can have a tendency to be a little dry. Not this, my friends. You know why they call it wahoo? Because when you eat it... Did I drown it? That's okay. I know CPR. Uh, all right, I'll throw a tomato on there. What the hell? Lettuce? Why not? Bon. Top of the morning to you. Here goes nothing. I'm gonna need a lot of these. Good sign. Look at that. Look at that white meat, guys. It is amazing. Ready for the uh, for the journey home? 16 miles, and I'm drinking beer. Look at that! Ah. Guys, look at the meat. Look at that. Mm. Barefoot vlogger approves. This is a great spot, guys. Alright, let's try these. I, guys, I'm a sucker for onions, alright? If they're up for the task. Yeah, and these look like they are. There goes nothing. I agree with you on a bit aggressive. Mm. Onion rings. They're good. Oh, they're shit. Yeah, yeah. And I mean that in every good way. Dude, you are no joke. I saw, I, girl, you got millions of views. Something like that. Something like that. There you go. 
I'll put you guys on the map. No, I'm just kidding. Maybe he'll shut the music off for me. You know what, guys? It's funny. I love company. I love like fellow places with my wife, friends. But it's amazing how much fun you can have when you have an army behind you and they go out to be by yourself. I love you guys. Man, I got tartar sauce on my tripod. Can't take me anywhere. It's like a catcher's mitt. Thank you, you're out. So guys, I always like to find out like when is the optimal time to come to a place? Because I always seem to miss it. And uh, Brian here was telling me that um, Sunday. Oh, here he is right now. So he can he can tell us. Well, you were saying Sunday's a good time to yeah, come here. Sunday's the best day to come here because we got really? Mark Zayden playing. Mark Zayden plays all over South Florida. He's been here for ten years at least. Really? And what happens is all these boat spots up here, people just roll up, and hang out, and everybody's drinking and having a good time listening to Mark play. So wow. it's like a local. It's our our locals' day, and. Um, you know, it, it's the atmosphere is fantastic, and people get here about six, and they're hanging out till 9, 30, 10 o'clock. So I gotta try that. So that's a live. He's a live. What is he? A band? The one man band? One man. One man band. And he plays right there under that canopy. Right there, and everyone just hangs out. We've got ten people hanging out right down there on the cushions. We've got wow. chairs all here. We've got a boat here, a boat there, a boat there. It, it's it's really wow. Tell me, what is this? This is a marina here. Who owns this? Is, this is the Lighthouse Point Marina. Oh, this is Lighthouse Point Marina. Yes. So, yeah, and you just pull up. There's no cost for the, the for docking because these are our spots. And it, really? Hang out. Yeah, absolutely. So anybody that has a boat that comes in off the Intracoastal, they just come here and they dock right up here yep. for free, and then they could sit sit here and drink at the bar or eat a right here. At Naughty Dog comes up through here. So it wow. Is. And we have our drink specials and everything. It's, it's a good night. It's definitely uh, worth the, the visit on Sunday nights. That's fantastic. Well. I'll certainly be seeing you here, my friend. I can't wait, and you did a great job today. Thank, Thank you so much. You Appreciate it. Do you mind if I get you saying it? I'm a, I'm a YouTuber. I'm a water on YouTube. So this guys, this gentleman was telling me he believes this is one of the best local restaurants around. Right. Why would you say that? The food is always good, the atmosphere is terrific, you sit by the water, and it's always a breeze again. They make it with their fans. <laughs> there the you go. fans are quiet. If you look in the water, there will be fish. When the lights come on and it gets dark, there will be fish swimming right out in the marina. Fantastic. And food's always good, and the people are always nice. There you are. He's a, he's a testimonial to that. Thanks for chatting with us. What's your name, sir? Ira. Nice to meet you, Ira. Um, so, are you from here? Well, I'm, a, I'm originally from New York. Oh, I'm me too. Uh, I mean, what part? From the Bronx. Oh, nice. Uh, he's he's got to be a Yankee fan, obviously, unfortunately. Well, my for us, wife that's is a real strong Yankee fan. If they all know what a big Mets fan I am, and I'm from Brooklyn, so. It's always nice. Uh, on the weekends, they have some live music, I think after 7 o'clock. Yeah. yeah. But I don't want anyone else to know about it. Ah. Uh, too late. <laughs> uh, do you live around here, Ira? Just curious. Yeah. In this area? Yeah. How did you discover it? Did you just happen upon it? Or it's like the locals know about it because it's kind of really off the beaten path. I rode my, you'll see my bike out there. Okay. Well, it is a local spot. Uh, we don't get that many tourists unless they're coming with a local that brings them here. That, do you live in Lighthouse Point? You might no, I live in Deerfield. Okay, so which is great. I'm sorry, these folks. And that's what's great about Lighthouse Point is it's equidistant in between both Pompano and Deerfield. So yes. this is a great spot to come. Yes. But if you're really interested in going someplace nice, yeah. go to Deerfield Island Park. Deerfield Island the, Park. Yes, I'm one of the founders of the Friends of Deerfield Island Park, which used to be known as, and still is known, as Capone Island. But it is a nature center. Capone Island now. So why do they call that Capone's Island? 
his attorney had bought it for him. Really? Because he didn't want his name to get out. That's how he bought in Miami. Wow. Where the attorney fronted the transaction and his name didn't appear on the sale in Miami until it was complete. Incredible. So where exactly is it? It's in Deerfield? In Deerfield Beach, just off Hillsborough Boulevard. And uh, there's a free shuttle that runs to the island. And it's a, it, it's a nice nature. I would love to do a video about that, my friend. Absolutely. Can't do it this weekend because his boat's on. Okay, <laughs> come on, let's, oh, let's do a dive on your boat, your sunken boat. Yeah. All right, that's that's a Florida guy when he tells you I can't do it this weekend because my boat sunk. <laughs> you know, that's like that's like my dog ate my homework. Right. <laughs> but um, no, I'll give you a call. You got a phone number on it? No, I'll put it on there for you. Though. I have no boat yet. Wait, I got a rubber boat. I have an inflatable boat. Does no. that work? It'll be on a Friday or Saturday or Sunday. Okay. How long are you going to be here in Florida? I live here. Oh. I live in Boca. Oh, so yeah, Florida. Yeah, Florida, Boca. How long am I going to be okay. here? Okay. Hopefully forever. Okay. okay. All right, Ira, you got homework. You got homework. Let's go, baby. Let's get us on a boat. Not a sunken one. <laughs> not, not one that we got to dive, okay? <laughs> I want to dive off of it, not into it. Hey, nice hey it's nice meeting you guys. Same thing. Thank you, guys. Nice meeting you. Come on. Ah, he's a good guy. Stay tuned. You're going to see us on a boat or in a boat or under a boat. All I can say, Ira, is hopefully when you take me on a boat, I won't need a snorkel. Onward and upward. Guys, this is South Florida living at its best, right here at the Naughty Dog in Lighthouse Point, Florida. Now, you probably never heard of Lighthouse Point until now. You're welcome. Onward and upward. does it from here. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. we ride off into the sunset together. I thought we'd take a little walk off a long dock just to show you guys how awesome living in Florida really is. Until next time, from the docks at the Naughty Dog here at the Lighthouse Marina. This is the Barefoot Vlogger saying, stay well, stay tuned. 544 a gallon? That's cheaper than the blue iguana. Hold on, we're not done yet. Now that's what I call a bait bucket.
next time on The Barefoot Vlogger. Guys. What is this idiot doing? The Pink Church. That's right, The Pink Church. It's a church and it's pink. Hey brother, is that the 14th Street Causeway over there? Yep. 14th Street Causeway's right there. The other back. Thank you, brother. Papano Beach. This street right here is Northeast 14th Street. There's a causeway leading over to Intracoastal. Still showing 43%. 42 now. Famous landmark. I want to see if you guys know what it is. This is where you guys told me to throw the harmonica in the ocean. I better stop. No better way to end the day, guys. The Barefoot Mailman. Delivering the mail. To rain, snow, sleet. Well, I, you know, rain. What's up, guys? Yeah, what's going on? How are you? What up, you two? Hey, hey, there you go. We're looking at the Barefoot Mailman right there. Barefoot Mailman.